Stage One Family Theater has a history that reaches back to 1946 in Louisville. Nearly 70 years, a few changes in name and stage space later, Stage One continues its strong and groundbreaking role in children's theater. Producing Artistic Director Peter Holloway joins us to update us on Stage One's season and future plans. Welcome. Thanks, Candace. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you. First of all, let's start with your current production in, and in this corner, Cassius Clay. Tell me about that. Well, you know, this is an exciting project that's been two years in the making. Um, since our audience is primarily kids in elementary school, we like to choose things that we think will be of particular interest and hopefully inspiration to them. Mm -hmm. So, sure, everybody be interested in the story about Muhammad Ali, but maybe the part we don't know so well is where did he come from? How did this young man growing up in the segregated Louisville of the 1950s burst onto the world scene and become the most recognizable face on the planet? So it's, this play deals with his life from ages 12 to 18, which makes it very relatable for kids. How important was it that a play like this premiere here and as a commission by Stage One? <laughs> well, it's very important to us. I mean, we think he's such a fantastic worldwide figure, but to be able to connect it back to our community is kind of a great thing to do. It's also a really fascinating partnership because the children who are coming to see this show are also getting the opportunity to tour the Ali Center. So it's a mm -hmm. dual field trip. The lead in it is a Chicago-based actor who grew up in Louisville. Does that also add something to the production? Yeah, that was a, a real case of kismet that uh, we did not expect. It, as you might imagine, that's a difficult role to cast. Yes. Someone who is both a strong enough actor but also is a credible looking athlete as someone who could be the heavyweight champion of the world. And so we went to Chicago and we looked at a lot of wonderfully talented people. And unlike many times we do auditions where you're just hearing people read as actors, for this particular show, we also had a fight director there because we had to see if this you guy could see. box. Right. So on the second day of callbacks, we're looking at all these actors and Justin Cornwell's this young man's name is clearly coming to the forefront. And it was only then that I got to the second page of his resume and realized he was from here. Uh, not only went to Eastern High School, but served on the teen council at the Ali Center while he was in high school. So it's like, oh, okay, this was meant it's to meant be. It's meant to be, right. <laughs> uh, countless JCPS students do get to come and see Stage mm -hmm. 1 productions, uh, like in this corner. What does that kind of experience mean to a local school child? Well, uh, I think it probably means a lot. It, it is really fun to stand in the lobby and watch the kids come into the Kentucky Center. You know, it's a very impressive place. Mm -hmm. And uh, even before they get in to see a show, and it's really fun to see the reactions. They tend to be one of two things. Either their eyes are as big as saucers because they've never seen the Kentucky Center before and they start asking questions, or they want to tell you about the last time they were there. I saw Charlotte's Web, or I saw Tuck Everlasting, or something else. So for many of these kids, just the households they're growing up in, they don't have exposure to the arts. And it may not be important in the culture that they're growing up at home, but the schools recognize the importance of arts and helping kids shape their imaginations, creative problem solving. So we are thrilled that so many kids get to come and see our shows. Stage One offers sensory friendly performances. Mm -hmm. What are those? So this is something we wanted to do because we're very committed to being inclusive so that there is something available to all members of the community. And a lot of families who have kids all along the range of the autism spectrum are very reluctant to take those children to arts experiences because they're afraid they may act out or make noise or disturb other patrons so they tend not to go. Uh, we make slight changes to the production to maybe remove things that might be very bright or very loud and startling but otherwise it's more about just being welcoming and presenting to those families that we want them to come and that mm -hmm. there are no issues for their children. We've been doing that for a couple of years now. The Kentucky Center has been a wonderful partner to us in that and the numbers grow every year we do it. So we, we add one of those performances to every production we do now. Great. Any future stage one ideas that you can share with us? Yeah, well, I'll tell you one that's going to be really fun. Uh, our next new play that we're working on for next year is based off, uh, I guess what I would call a children's classic book called Harold and the Purple Crayon. Yes, I know Harold and the you Purple Crayon. You know Harold? Crayon. Okay. Uh -huh. well, so that book originally came out in 1955, and it's a, it's a very sweet and simple book. Uh, kind of a narrator who tells you the story, but Harold draws his world. You know, it, it starts um, one evening, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight, so he drew the moon, mm -hmm. and then he drew a road to walk and everything else. So uh, because of the advances in technology, that play is going to become very interesting the way we present it. We'll have a narrator, we will have a character of Harold, but he'll be more of a 
dancer mover. Harold doesn't speak. Right. And then we will have a live musician who's going to play. And I, I'm excited. Ben Salee oh, is wonderful. associated with this project, and he's going to be the musician on stage playing for this show. But they'll be in front of a big screen, so we'll be using animation. So as Harold draws his world, the audience will see it. Neat. Here's the part that's really neat. We're going to supply every child who comes to see this with a tablet while they watch the production. And at various times, we're going to encourage the children to draw along with Harold. And uh, at the end of the show, we'll be able to upload their drawings so they'll be able to go back to school and print off their own drawings that they created along with it and they'll have a book to take home with them. So uh, as far as we know, no one has combined the technology in quite that manner yet where yeah. it's both a visual arts and a performing arts experience. So that'll be for the youngest kindergarten and first graders next year. Oh, that's very exciting. Well, Peter, thank you for coming to share with us all the great things Stage 1 is working on. My thank pleasure. You. Thanks, Candace.